this tutorial, I plan to use Peaches and Cream Stripey. This is a size 4 worsted weight cotton. You can use any size 4 yarn. And this is the color linen. I'm also going to be using a 3.75 millimeter hook for this tutorial. And you'll need a stitch marker and a chapstick. To begin, make a slip knot and chain two. In the second chain from your hook, make six single crochet. You could have also used the magic circle here, but I don't particularly care for the magic circle. As you can see, I'm crocheting over the top of my tail here, and it will give me the same desired effect. You are going to be working in continuous rounds here, so there will be no slip stitches. We are going to make two single crochet in the first stitch. And you're going to want to grab your stitch marker since we're working in the continuous round and go ahead and mark the first stitch you made. Now we're going to continue making two single crochet in every stitch around. Since we started with six singles, we should end up with 12. Once you have 12 single crochet, you should be at the stitch marker. And I'm just going to check my base here against the size of my chapstick. You want the base to be slightly larger than your chapstick. And as you can see, it is. I'm going to stop increasing here and I'm going to grab this tail and pull it to shut that hole right there. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess. For this next round, we are going to be working through the back loops only. So if you look carefully, it is this loop in the back. So we're going to make one single crochet in the back loop only in every stitch around. And again, this is the continuous round. We're not joining. So you're going to want to mark that first stitch and make one single crochet in the back loop only in every stitch around. So here I am at the end. You can see it starting to bowl up like a bowl. And you can see that nice ribbed edging that we made by working in the back loops. So again, we're not slip stitching to join. We're just going to continue working in the continuous round. And for the next round, we're going to be working through both loops. We're going to put one single crochet through both loops in every stitch around. And be sure to mark that first stitch. So just continue working one single crochet in every stitch around and I will meet you at the end. So here I have my 12 singles and we are just going to continue working in continuous rounds making one single crochet in every stitch around until we meet the bottom of the lid or the cap. So I'm going to do one more round because I wanted to show you how it should be fitting your chapstick cozy. And it's not quite big enough just yet to put on my chapstick. 
So I'm going to do one more round here, and then I'm going to show you how it should be fitting your chapstick. And I also want to mention while I'm doing this round that your stitches should be pretty tight. So there should be very little holes in your work. So if you are seeing holes, then you are likely crocheting too loosely. This should be a pretty tight knit fabric. So if you need to, you may want to start over with a smaller hook and continue in the pattern. So now that I've got this next round done, I'm going to show you how it should be fitting your chapstick. So I'm, I'm just popping my chapstick in there. And as you can see, it's kind of difficult to get it in there. You don't want it loose because you don't want your chapstick flying out of this while it's on your purse or whatever you're carrying it on. And you also want to make sure there's very tiny holes in your work, not big loose holes. So you're just gonna continue making rounds of singles until you reach the bottom of the cap. So here I'm showing you, I've reached the bottom of the cap and I have a total of 15 rounds. Now that is including the base. So I have a total of 15 rounds and my chapstick is fitting nicely in my cozy. So now I'm going to slip stitch. We're no longer working in the round. So I'm just going to slip stitch into that first stitch of the round to sort of bring it down. And now we're gonna make our hanging loop. For me, that's a chain of 25. And I'm also going to show you what it should be measuring in case you don't have the same tension as I do. So here is my chain of 25, and it should measure about four and a half inches or 11 and a half centimeters. And this is kind of important because you don't want it too long where it will possibly cause your chapstick to bang loose while it's beating against your purse or whatever it is you're carrying it in. But you also don't want it too short. So here I am, I'm gonna slip stitch into that same stitch that I just made a slip stitch in. And this is to finish it. And I'm just simply going to cut my yarn and weave in my tails at this point. As you can see, it looks very nice right there. So go ahead and cut your yarn and weave in your tails and I will meet you back. So here I'm showing you how your chapstick should be fitting into your cozy. As you can see, it should be very tight. You don't want it loose. And now I'm gonna show you how you would attach it to your purse. So pretend that this is a purse ring instead of a key ring, um, although you could use it on your keychain very easily, but this is how you would attach it to your bag. So you're gonna use the Lark's Knot and your chapstick cozy must be empty for this. So if your chapstick's inside of the cozy, you won't have an easy time attaching it. But that's it, that's how you attach it to your bag or what have you. So this eliminates the need for hardware, which makes this much more cost effective. I made a bunch of these for Christmas gifts because it was cheaper. Now you can leave this plain like it is. I think it's very classy. Or you can add embellishments to give it like a, a boho feel. So you could add like a tassel at the top or a tassel at the bottom. For me personally, I like to add a bead at the top of the hanging loop. And it's usually about an eight millimeter bead. You don't wanna go any smaller than that. And I'm gonna show you here a very important factor about the beads. So I like to put a bead right there. And one important thing that you have to make sure your bead has a hole big enough. I use a 2.25 millimeter hook for this and I just slide the bead on my hook. And then I use the hook to grab the loop and pull it through the bead and then slide the bead down. And you could just leave it like that. I really like it. Or you could add a tassel to the front or even a tassel to the bottom to give it a more boho or macrame look. I'm going to add a tassel at the bottom so that you can know how to do it. 
So you're going to need to cut a 6 to 8 inch piece of yarn. And then using the Lark's Knot, we're going to attach it to the bottom around the first round. So I'm just using my hook to sort of find the center here. And then I'm going to attach this loop using the Lark's Knot. And then you're just going to set this to the side. And I usually use my fingers to make tassel tails. You can use three to four fingers. Just kind of feel it out. And I'm going to wrap my fingers seven times. I don't want a huge tassel because this is a very small project. And then you're just going to cut the bottoms to create the tassel tails. And you're going to set this in the middle of these strands that we put at the bottom. And then once you get them lined up in the center, you're just going to use those tails to tie knots around these tails to secure them to the bottom. So once it's centered up, you're just going to tie it a few times into a knot to secure the tails. And I'm going to add a strand around the top to hold these tassel tails in place. And I'm going to use a gathering knot to secure these tails. And just watch me carefully. It's very easy. You're going to create a little loop like so. And then you're just going to set that around the area where you're going to wrap your yarn. And I want it to be about a quarter of an inch down. And then you're just going to wrap that tail around that loop and around those tails. It's kind of fiddly at first, but it doesn't take much because this isn't a large tassel. So I'm just going to wrap it a few times until I feel like it'll hold it. I don't want it to be bulky, so I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to slide this tail through that loop. And then you just hold the bottom and then pull this top strand and then tie tightly and then you can just cut it to the quick. And now I'm just going to trim the bottom so that the tails are even. I didn't measure it, I just kind of guessed where I wanted it to end. And I'm pretty well done. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the chapstick inside. And of course, you could have added your bead to the top of that tassel there. So instead of having the bead around your loop, you could have put it at the top of your tassel, and that would have looked really cute too. Or you could have put a tassel in the front. The options are really endless. I wanted to show you one more time that in order to attach it to your bag or whatever it is, you really have to have an empty chapstick cozy. And that is it. That's what it should look like. You are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.